Hello everyone and welcome in. I hope everyone is doing well. Positive healing vibes to all the subscribers, the viewers, and the world out there. If you want to skip the intro, there is a timestamp below in the description box. Please keep in mind, guys, that the messages here are general, meaning that they're not going to resonate every time. It's really about the title. If there's something in the title resonating, then there's most likely going to be something in the message. I like to say you're going to know if the message is for you because you're going to feel it. It's going to hit you in your gut, usually. If the message does resonate, there will be a link below for the extended version. There's also information down there for energy cleanse kits, personal readings, how to get entered into the drawing that we do here every month for free personal readings, as well as the tarot course that I've created for those of you that want to learn how to read tarot cards. It's all linked below in the description box. And if you like the vibe, how I interpret the cards, you're more than welcome to subscribe to the channel. Everyone's welcome and it does help to set intentions for future messages. Just really quick before we jump into the reading, guys, these messages are full moon energy readings. These messages are intended to tap into the energy surrounding you that you need to be releasing and how to release this energy. This full moon that we're coming into in December is in Gemini. This is called the cold moon. It's during the coldest, darkest part of the year. It's also the last full moon of the year. And so with this full moon, we try and correlate all the lessons that we've learned from the prior year to set the stage for a new beginning moving forward. So let's jump into this, guys. So Aries, in this message, we were seeing how this traditional business structure won't work for the business plan that you're working on. And I feel like it's time to think outside of the box, maybe consult with other people to get a better idea of what's available. Because if this idea is cultivated correctly, it will be very successful and abundant. Let's take a look. This message is going to be Aries full moon reading for the month of December. And in this message, Aries, we're going to tap into the energy that is no longer serving you, how to release this energy, and what will come of this release. Clarify throughout the message as well as pull a few cards at the end for advice guidance moving forward. If it's something you guys are interested in, you're more than welcome in joining us. So Aries, see what we can see for your upcoming energy. Release for the month of December. So Aries, this is going to be a very specific message. Only resonate probably with a few of you. But I feel like this is channeling business structure. I feel like this is some sort of business structure. Now, how I'm viewing this, how I'm seeing this in my mind's eye, Aries, is there may be some sort of business that you're trying to create or trying to grow. And you're, tr you're trying to do this the traditional way. And I feel like thinking outside of the box is going to be more beneficial. So I feel here what this is, this hierophant energy is channeling, and we're going to clarify here in a minute. This is channeling a business structure, a traditional business structure, and this is what needs to be released. This is what's no longer serving you. Yes, that brick and mortar type of business structure may have worked in the past. It may be beneficial in the future. But there are other ways to grow a business besides that, okay? And I do feel here that this is definitely channeling business finance mentality, okay? So how to release this? You may need to do a little bit of research, right? You may need to look into how online businesses work, online business structure. Maybe thinking outside of the box, how could this work for your business structure? How could you 
promote yourself online, still get the same results, if not better. Okay. I do feel like there is going to be a positive outcome from this. It's exactly how I see this. I don't feel like this is coming out any other way. If you realize there are no cups coming out at all, there's no emotions involved in this reading, okay? What's to come from this energy? If you're able to shift your perspective on this traditional business structure, this is going to be beautiful. I feel here if you just sit down and, and be strategic, plan this out, think outside the box, you're going to come up with a very creative plan and this is going to turn out very beautiful, very successful. Okay. Now, if you're finding that this message is helpful or resonating with your situation, please give it a thumbs up. All the love and support is very much appreciated. It does help with the growth of the channel, getting the message out. So thank you guys so much for that. You are all freaking amazing. I'm going to pull a few cards out here for your advice, guidance, moving forward, Aries. There's not going to be an extended version to this reading. If you're interested in learning how to read tarot cards, that information is below in the description box. Something you're interested in, check that out. Aries, your advice, guidance moving forward. We have the Hermit, we have the Hanged Man, and we have the King of Pentacles. Take some time. Be strategic here. Okay, think about this. Try to think about outside the box. Maybe asking friends, family member, how they feel. You can also get business consultations. If you are thinking about like building a website, there are companies out there that will have a business consultation, a business meeting with you to go over the plans of how you want to successfully create this website. And each business meeting will help jog your mind about how you want to create your online business. I'm only speaking from personal experience. But I do feel here with the Hermit, the Hangman, and the King of Pentacles that there is a need for a change in perspective on this. And I do feel like this shift in perspective is going to be a blessing. It's a blessing in disguise. Right now, I do feel a stagnant energy surrounding this business idea or this business venture. And don't give up is what I feel like this reading is channeling. Try to shift your perspective and think outside of the box on this. Okay? Your blessing message here, Aries, I am in the process of positive change. I am unfolding in fulfilling ways. Only good can come to me. I now express healthy, hap health, happiness, prosperity, and peace of mind. I am in the process of positive change. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So Aries, I feel like that's a good solid message coming out. Thank you guys so much for all the love and support. Thank you for liking, subscribing, sharing the content. You guys are all amazing. I look forward to seeing your beautiful souls again soon. Namaste.